quick tip for you today. I wanted to post this up on a Tuesday and call it a Tuesday tip, but the reality is you're probably watching this on maybe a Monday or a Wednesday or a Saturday or a Thursday, or maybe you don't even know what day it is because you decided to take a quick afternoon nap and now you've woken up in Jumanji. So whatever day it is for you right now, today I'm going to walk you through one of the simplest yet most effective cues that I use to get you deadlifting better. So if you find yourself constantly wrenching through your lower back and you have a hard time maybe using your legs, or you find yourself on the other extreme and you launch up through your butt in more of this like stripper style deadlift, this video will help you perfect your technique within a couple of minutes. I'll also give you a quick four point deadlift checklist at the end of this video to get you deadlifting better. And if you're looking for a full program to develop your deadlift strength or to add size to your lower body, go check out some of my programs over on my app, Gambaru Method. Power Build, Neuro Strong, Advanced Power Build, Strength, and the female specific programs all heavily feature deadlifts and deadlift variations to build a strong posterior chain. There's a link in the description below for you to get the app on both Android and Apple devices to follow my programs, join my community, and try it all for free. So if this video helps you, I suggest you go check it all out. All right, so for this coaching tip, all you need to do is take a look at your deadlift setup from the side and take a look at where your shoulders and shoulder blades are positioned over the bar. So let's have a look at setup position number one. This is having your shoulder blades behind the bar and your shoulders positioned pretty much vertically over the bar. See, when you do this, your hips shift back and down and you'll be forced to put yourself into more of this squat position and when you go to lift, your bum will shoot up and then you'll wrench up through your back in this two-part deadlift kind of thing, which is not really good. Setup number two, I'm now gonna put my shoulders and shoulder blades too far forwards over the bar, with my shoulder blades now being in front of the bar. As a result, I'll typically use a lot less of my legs and I'll crank up a lot more through my lower back, more than anything else. Now, this could actually be a good thing and it could be intentional if you wanted to train your hamstrings more in a traditional stiff leg deadlift. But we're going to assume that that's not the case in this scenario when we're looking at refining your conventional deadlift setup and technique. So, finally, we're gonna have this sweet spot, the just right position. And this is where your shoulder blades are positioned directly over the barbell with your shoulders being positioned slightly in front of the barbell. What you'll find here is that your hips will naturally be positioned not too high and not too low, but just right. So if I drop my hips down lower, my shoulders now move back into position number one. And if I lift my hips up higher, my shoulders move back into position number two, both of which aren't really that efficient. So let's go back to the middle ground sweet spot. Shoulder blades over the bar, shoulders slightly in front. From here, the deadlift itself becomes a relatively simple movement. All you're doing is just standing up. Don't think too much about squeezing anything or thrusting anything or pulling back or anything like that. You just stand up. Now, there is of course some finer detailing that may need to occur from here, but I find that it's much simpler to address all of these things after you've gotten used to this sweet spot start point. And a lot of the time, all of the extra setup cues tend to take care of themselves. For example, let's talk about your stance. How close to the bar should you be standing? Well, if all you focus on at first is making sure you have your shoulder blades positioned over the barbell, you'll find that regardless of where you stand, your body will naturally reposition itself or the barbell into the most comfortable and ideal position for you to be lifting from. So if I'm too far back like around here, yeah, now my shoulders are going to be positioned over the barbell, but if I go to pull, you'll, you'll see straight away how I'm going to start falling forwards. So I'll naturally want to self-correct by stepping in closer. And if I've positioned in too close where my machines are against the bar, when I bend down to grab the barbell, my legs will naturally push the barbell into a better position before I lift. Now for everything else in terms of bracing for the upper body, these things are of course important, but if you focus on doing those things without having the right start position, they aren't going to guarantee an efficient deadlift. So I usually start coaching them after you've gotten used to moving your body around the barbell with that ideal sweet spot technique. 
So spend a few workouts just getting into your groove with light deadlifts. Aim to do sets of maybe five to 10 reps and make sure every single one of those reps looks exactly the same with a comfortable weight. Once you can do this and you have ingrained it as a movement pattern with that sweet spot, you can start increasing the weight and thinking more about what you're doing with creating total body tension. So here is my framework to get you deadlifting better. From the top position here, make sure your pelvis is stacked vertically underneath your rib cage, just like this. Take a deep breath in through your nose to contract through your diaphragm, and you should feel your midsection inflate as you do this. Next, you're going to reach your arms as far down your legs as possible to help to engage your lats. Just make sure you don't hunch through your lower back as you do this. So next, you want to slowly push your hips back to bend down to grab the barbell without losing that stack of the pelvis and the rib cage. So once you're down here, you grab onto the barbell, grip it tightly, pull the slack out of it so you hear that little click as the barbell taps into the inner ring of the, of the weight plates, and all you do is just stand up. You want to slowly lower it back to the ground under control and repeat as needed. So there you go, guys. Hope you guys found this quick tip useful with your setup. And if you have any other questions or comments, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Thank you all for watching this bad boy all the way through to help boost up my YouTube rankings. And I'll see you all next time.